us live in Colorado because of the very special quality of life that we have here. And with the increased population that we have in Colorado and also the pressures for drilling for oil and gas, I think it's incredibly important to preserve the last few remaining wild places. There's real benefit to us individually and then as a collective society by knowing that there are places like this preserved. In this proposal, there are 62 places proposed for wilderness. Most of them are lower-lying canyon areas that have beautiful wilderness characteristics. This canyon country, foothills, lower elevation to desert kind of terrain that's so underrepresented in the wilderness system, so it's a really unique contribution. I think it's important to have energy development, but on the other hand, I don't think you do that to the exclusion of preserving the few places that are left that have strong wilderness characteristics. 85% of the Bureau of Land Management lands in Colorado are already available for oil and gas leasing. To take a small portion of the BLM lands and make it wilderness is eminently a fair combination. There are a lot of misconceptions about wilderness that some people have. They don't think you can hunt and fish, but you can hunt and fish in the wilderness. Hundreds of businesses have supported the Wilderness Bill because they know that wilderness is not only good for that wonderful experience people can have, it's also good for the economy. I think that the Congresswoman's Wilderness proposal is very reasonable. I think the biggest obstacle that the Wilderness Act faces has been in the last 10 years the Republican leadership of Congress. But now with the new Democratic Chairman of the Natural Resources Committee, we can move the bill forward.